The American Legion family has a long, a strong and mutual beneficial re relationship with the organization that is headed by our next guest. Did you notice that I said family? It's appropriate because USAA cares about financial security for families of our current military and of our veterans who served in the past. And yes, I am also a proud member of USAA. A veteran of the United States Air Force and CEO of USAA is also a legionnaire. He joined USAA in 1998 and led the development of its financial planning practice. He was named the Chief Operating Officer in May 2014 and has served as CEO since March of 2015. Please give a warm welcome to USAA Chief Executive Officer Stuart Parker. Well, thank you, Commander Rohan. That was a very kind introduction. The American Legion and USAA do have a lot in common. We just celebrated our 96th birthday, and we are looking forward to our 100th as well. Here in Minneapolis, where the first Legion Convention was gathered about 100 years ago, this does feel like a family reunion because we grew up together. The time after World War I brought incredible change. More than two million U.S. military personnel came home ready to build something positive. Meanwhile, the automobile had become part of that American dream. From 1918 to 1922, car registrations doubled to over 12 million. And in that environment, USAA was born. The mission of USAA is to facilitate the financial security of its members and their families. We were founded in 1922 by 25 Army officers who came together to insure each other's vehicles. And like the military, USAA is built on core values, honesty, integrity, loyalty, and service. And everyone here shares those same values. I grew up wanting to serve and to fly in the Air Force. While in high school in Southern Georgia, I even gave a speech about patriotism at an American Legion contest. And I went on to join the Air Force and flew missions during Operation Desert Shield and Desert Storm. I was living my dream, but a medical retirement ended my flying career. So I went back to school, and thanks to a program supported by the American Legion, vocational rehab, that paid for my MBA, and I was able to go to work for USAA. Today, I am happy to stand here as an example of how much the Legion does for veterans. It's also why USAA's chairman, retired Air Force General Lester Lyles, is thrilled to serve on the Legion's 100th anniversary committee. USAA and the American Legion have a natural affinity, and our members understand the value that we both provide. We have built an emotional bond on taking care of each other. And these stories never get old. Somebody had the forethought to think, if we want to remain invested in our own relevance, we, we have to organize. And so, you know, 100 years of, of that kind of forethought, you're seeing right now the benefits of that. It's a milestone for the American Legion. I can't wait to be able to celebrate that. I've committed myself to be involved with it, you know, on the, the committees, wherever I'm needed. That's all they have to do is ask me, and I'm right there. When I visit the uh, VA hospitals, and I see the guys and, and the ladies and, and some of the kids, I saw that, you know, I needed to be somebody that could help these folks. It's really important that we get out there 
let the community know what services were available to help with. Um, from building wheelchair ramps for vets coming home to remodeling, helping remodel a house, to spo sponsoring Special Olympics. I believe it was around 2007, actually, um, I met some of the American Legion people that came to the hospital to visit. Uh, they paid for my membership. The similarity within USAA, the American Legion, and the military is service. The Legion is our advocacy. USAA, in many ways, is our guardian. Two years ago, I was in a major auto accident, called USAA. Within an hour, I was in a rental car. Within eight hours, I was driving a new car. What USAA is doing with the American Legion, I think is fantastic. I see that USAA is connecting themselves with us. We really kind of have the same goals. You know, we, we want to take care of each other. You're there to serve the veteran. We're there to serve the veteran. And we do what has to be done, both of us. I think it will be a strong relationship for years to come. Thank you. Well, last summer, the Legion and USAA were in Houston helping veterans and their families after Hurricane Harvey. The hurricanes and wildfires of 2017 caused widespread damage and heartbreaking loss to thousands. Already this year, too many families have had their homes destroyed. I firmly believe that communities and companies should come together to support each other. We focus on military causes in the cities where we live and work. This year, USAA will contribute at least 1% of our pre-tax income to help those in need. That amounts to about $40 million. Thank you. Our employees and retirees also donate their time, treasure, and expertise. In 2017, they gave $11 million and volunteered almost 450,000 hours. We serve families of the fallen and wounded veterans. The Tragedy Assistance Program for Survivors, or TAPS, provides critical support to Gold Star spouses and their children. In 2018, we are funding a TAPS program that is helping more than 3,000 families, including those facing a financial crisis. But we're also investing money to end veteran homelessness in our home city of San Antonio. Around America, almost 40,000 homeless veterans were counted on one single night last year. This is a national tragedy that so many who defended our country have fallen on hard times. My name is Thomas Magnum Reister. I go by the name Tommy. I served nine years in the United States Navy. Uh, joined and I was a boatswain's mate. My name is Seth Jarman. I entered the service in uh, November 77, the United States Army, and my MOS was uh, 16 Delta of Mr. Crewman. Most of my life after the service was a big challenge. I mean, at one time I drove as a CGN cruiser, which is billions of dollars. And now I don't have nothing. After I left the service, uh, that's when my life kind of kind of took a tailspin. I started experimenting uh, with drugs. I wasn't an alcoholic. I didn't do drugs. I wasn't in trouble with the law. And people see you, and they see you on the street, and they go, oh, that's a homeless person. You know, it's hard. 
The White House gave a challenge to local officials across the country to ask them to commit to do all that they could to try to help their communities end veteran homelessness. So the city and Sarah and Family Endeavors and the American GI Forum National Veteran Outreach Program formed an alliance to take on this challenge. We invested $2.1 million of our resources, plus intellectual capital and time that helped drive the collaboration and elevate it. I am announcing that San Antonio has effectively ended veteran homelessness as defined by the White House Initiative. My first reaction was a sense of humility and then we gotta continue to get after it. If you see a homeless person or a homeless vet, they're not worthless, they're an individual. And if someone can make that change in that person's life and not leave them behind, that's the most important thing. Thank you. Well, post 9-11 veterans have been through 17 years of war, and they need help. When veterans leave the military, they enter a new world. They need jobs that match their skills and companies with the right culture. 44% of veterans leave their initial post-military job within one year. And that is why meaningful careers for vets and their transition is important to us. We team with Hiring Our Heroes and the Disney Veterans Institute to prepare service members for jobs. We cannot do this alone. And that is why I join you in saluting Southwest Airlines and the Veteran Employment Program. Well done, Tracy. I know she spoke just a moment ago. So thank you, Southwest Airlines. What a great partner. Yeah, please, let's recognize them. Thank you for doing that. USAA's Vet Leads program offers training that has helped more than 98% of participants stay beyond that elusive first year. Another program enables employees to move quickly into IT positions. But we have so much more to do and that's where you come in. 100 years into the American Legion story, the needs of veterans and their families is as great as ever. You have never left behind fellow service members or this country. We are honored to serve with you. Thank you so much for your time today.